In this podcast, I'm going to show you how to subscribe to the Dental Fusion Organization podcast. And uh, I'm going to use iTunes, which is probably the most popular client or program that most people use and is capable of syncing the podcast with your iPhone, for example, or iPad, so you can listen to them wherever you are. It's not difficult. It's a little bit uh, obscure. Uh, but once I've shown you how to do it, you'll you'll see it's really easy. So I've started off with um, iTunes open here. And if you Google on the web how to subscribe to a podcast, it'll say go to the file menu and you'll see straight away that there is no file menu. Um, and this is uh, where Steve Jobs and I probably wouldn't have got on very well because our brains just absolutely don't think the same. Um, I would expect there to be some fairly obvious way of getting to the file menu and not wasting 20 minutes clicking everything to see what it does. Steve Jobs would, of course, know straight away that the way to get to the file menu is to click this small box that's half black and half white on the top left. And there's a drop down menu there and there it says show menu bar. And when you do that, then you will get your file menu. Now, there is a quicker way of doing that. If you just press um, Control B, then you'll get that anyway. But if in case you open up iTunes and there's no file menu, then that's how you get over that particular problem. And I think that's the biggest problem. Now, once you've found the file menu, you can then go to subscribe to podcast. And you need to type in the address of the podcast you want to subscribe to. Now, it's very, very similar to a web address. The only difference being that it ends in .xml instead of .co.uk in all other, or, or, or .html. And that's because it's not really a web page. It's a list of episodes and really doesn't make much sense to anything other than a program that's designed to download and uh, keep track of podcasts. So um, if you were to type that into your web browser, that's what you'd get. And that's our feed. And Chrome seeing the, the source data, and that's that's the actual source data, which has got the list of podcasts in it, is um, trying to make some sense of it for the user. So it's very helpfully turned it into sort of a list. But although it does say subscribe to this feed using blog lines, whatever that is, and, and manage, subscribe now, um, that's really not the best way to do it. I don't know what blog lines is. Uh, and unfortunately, you can't even if you click on these, the, the show descriptions, although Technically, Chrome should know where the uh, episodes are because it's obviously reading the XML file, same as everyone else. You can't actually even play them live. So um, the XML file is a bit useless to anything other than um, a podcast reader like iTunes. So let's go to iTunes. That's really, you don't need to know all that, but that's just to show you a little bit of the workings behind the scene. And that's why it ends in .xml. So you have to make sure that you type this in correctly. So, for example, you have to type resources forward slash podcasts with the S rather than podcast.xml. And if you don't type it exactly correctly, it won't work. But once you've typed it in correctly, then just click OK. And you'll see the Dental Fusion Organization podcast come up at the top of the list because I think it's the most recent. And it's already downloaded the most recent episode. So that's really um, as simple as it is to subscribe to a podcast this is not a dental fusion podcast but any podcast now uh, it's downloaded the most recent episode and that's because if you look on the settings it says uh, that we're subscribed to the podcast it's going to download the most recent episode it's going to keep them with the latest on the top uh, but it's going to play them with the oldest first so it plays them through in order just in case there is any sort of order you can change that you can uh, ask it to download all of them or the most recent, whatever Steve Jobs will know what most recent means. Um, but if you do just want to add on a few older ones, then just click on old episodes and all the old episodes will come up. So supposing you want to download uh, uh, another one, then you just click on that, click on done. And you'll see a, a small cloud symbol there, which indicates that it's in the cloud. Download from server. Um, and that means basically download from the internet. So if you want to uh, put that, uh, download that so that you can then uh, synchronize it with your iPhone, then you have to press the cloud. The cloud causes it to come to your computer. And then in turn, that will then synchronize with um, your iPhone, which I'll, I'll show you in a second. So that's downloading now. You can see that up at the progress bar at the top there. If you want to see a list of what's downloading, you can click on this 
icon here which is a down arrow with a blue barber's pole which steve jobs would know straight away it means go to the download queue but uh, and there's the the downloads some of the ones that we've done in the past and uh, stopped or uh, done previously and now what we want to do is make sure that they go onto the iphone so my iphone is plugged into the computer through a lead although you can do this over a a wireless network um, providing the, the uh, computer your computer and the iPhone are on the same wireless network then you don't really technically need a lead but I would still use a lead because the wireless thing is a bit flaky at the moment um, so you click on uh, iPhone and then just click on uh, sync and what that will do that'll do seven things apparently um one of which is back up your iphone and uh, i think step five or step six is to transfer all the podcasts onto the iphone so then uh, when you're on a train or um going for a walk you can stick your headphones on bluetooth headphones are particularly good and just listen to the podcast uh, or if you've got um, an adapter in your car that well means that you can plug your iPhone in and listen while you commute then obviously um you've got about an hour's worth of commuting uh sorted out so that's on step 7 of 7 now that's um, pretty quick that has speeded up a lot in recent years and if we go to podcasts on the phone we should find the uh Dental Fusion Organization podcast we've got two new episodes and the solid blue circle means that we haven't listened to them yet so we're done with the iphone now apparently we changed some settings i didn't notice i changed any settings but apparently steve says i have um now the other thing you can do if you want to listen to it at home because we're, we're out of the iphone now we're back into itunes is you can uh, just um double click on it and then um it will play oh can you hear me no yeah. <laughs> that's no for you chris yes for you derek there you go um so that's um that episode now is um playing actually locally and I'm, we're hearing it through headphones or speakers or whatever so that's how to subscribe to a dental fusion organization podcast we have made quite a few now i think we're on the we're in the high 40s now in terms of the numbers they are all uh, on subjects that are primarily to of interest to professionals working in primary dental care so i hope you get a chance to um, listen to them and i hope this video has helped you understand how <laughs>